Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So in this list, I'm going to be showing you five bizarre ancient firearms. Number five, disposable pistols. Back in World War II, over one million disposable pistols were airdropped. These pistols were really cheap to make, costing only $1.72 per unit. But why exactly give troops a gun that is cheap and not very good? Well, they weren't given to troops, but rather to resistance fighters, as a temporary weapon so they can kill an enemy than scavenge a better gun. These disposable pistols had no rifling grooves in the barrel, so the bullet's trajectory wasn't very straight. They also only had a range of about 7.5 meters. While as a gun, they were pretty crap, but if you're in a war zone unarmed, even one of these disposable pistols would have been very welcomed. Number 4. Pocket Knife Pistols During the Victorian era, there was a rise in smart gadgetry. One of these gadgets was a pocket knife pistol. It was designed and manufactured by an English company called Unwin and Rogers. These pocket knife pistols were advertised as a great way to defend your home from burglars. The pistol fired a small bullet that can kill a target up to 45 meters away. A US company also created a pocket knife pistol called the Defender. This gun could be loaded with 22 caliber bullets and was sold for $5. In today's money, that's the equivalent of about 70 bucks. Number 3. Knuckle Duster Guns Street gangs in Paris loved knuckle duster guns. One of the most famous knuckle duster guns was called the Apache. It was of course a knuckle duster, a knife and a gun all rolled into one neat package. Another version was invented by an Irish immigrant in America. It was called My Friend and was designed as a protection weapon for travellers. Different versions could be loaded with different caliber bullets. Today, these knuckle duster guns are highly collectible and worth a lot of money. Number 2. Periscope Rifles When a soldier is in a trench, it's risky for him to pop his head out to fire his rifle. After all, enemy snipers can easily take out soldiers like in a game of Whack the Mole. During the Gallipoli campaign, English Lance Corporal W.C. Beach came up with a new way for safely firing from trenches. He essentially attached his rifle to a bit of wood, and using mirrors he was able to accurately see where to aim without popping his head out of the trench. This became known as a periscope rifle. The government loved the idea and began developing their own versions. One of the most famous was the Guberson rifle. Today they're not really needed as much, since the art of war has changed significantly. Back in the early 1900s when a soldier died, it was no big deal. Today however, it makes front page news. Number 1. Squeezer Pistols This weapon is the only pistol that doesn't resemble a pistol in any way. The whole gun was made to fit in the person's palm. As you can imagine, these squeezer pistols were very easy to conceal and that's exactly what they were marketed as. Some of these guns didn't even have triggers. In order to fire them, you had to literally squeeze them. One model with this mechanism was called the mitrail loose. When you squeeze the rear of the gun, it would push a bullet from the magazine into the chamber. If you squeezed a bit harder, the gun would cock and release the pin and it would fire a round. While they were very easy to conceal, the way you used them just never caught on. Not to mention just how dangerous it would be to have a gun that went off if you squeezed it. Just imagine having one in your back pocket and accidentally sitting down. Thank you for watching, do make sure to turn on channel notifications and follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat. All details are on screen and in the description below. Also let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see next. I do read all comments and I'm always open to suggestions. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, feed your mind.